Good day, boys and girls. Today, I will be teaching you about subtraction using the decomposition method. If you remember clearly, I've already went through decomposition uh, with addition. So today, we're going to learn subtraction. But before we get into decomposition method, let's talk about subtraction. What comes to mind when I say subtraction? Words such as difference, decrease, minus, take away, remain, how many are left, and the word fewer. So now that we know what subtraction means, we can use the method of decomposition to solve the operation of subtraction. Let's get to it. Okay, here we have the numbers 6,542 subtract 4,578. If we have to use the decomposition method, which we are, we have to start with step one, which is to break the numbers up into their place values. And we know, boys and girls, that place values are thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. So if I have to break up this problem, it would be 6,000 plus 500 plus 40 plus 2, close brackets, subtract my second number, which is 4,000 plus 500 plus 70 plus 8, close brackets. Okay, now that we've broken up the numbers into their place values, we can group them according to those place values, meaning boys and girls, we're going to place the thousands together, the hundreds together, the tens and the units. Don't forget that your brackets separate your place values. And within the brackets, we're going to have the sign of subtraction. Outside the bracket, we're going to have the sign of addition. Right, so firstly, if we have to group them according to their place values, our first bracket will have 6,000 minus 4,000, close brackets, plus our hundreds, which is 500 minus 500, close brackets, plus our tens, which is 40 minus 70, plus our units, which is 2 minus 8. Step 3, subtract within the brackets. Boys and girls, as with addition, so is subtraction. You have to start from the units, then the tens, then the hundreds, and then the thousands. Only because of borrowing. We look within the brackets and check whether those numbers can be subtracted. Can 2 subtract 8? No. Can 40 take away 70? No. Can 500 take away 500? Yes. Can 6,000 take away 4,000? Yes. If they cannot be subtracted, boys and girls, you have to borrow from the next bracket. We first borrow from the tens, then the hundreds, and then the thousands. Boys and girls, every time we borrow, we have to show it on a separate line. If we borrow from our tens, we show it on one line. If we need to borrow from our hundreds, we show it on the next line. If we have to borrow from our thousand, we show it on our next line. It is not advisable for you to do it all on one line, as sometimes you can get confused and mix up the numbers. So, let's give it a try, boys and girls, and see how it goes. Okay, so let us start subtracting. We said that we have to start from our units, which is 2 minus 8. Boys and girls, 2 cannot take away 8 because 2 is smaller than 8. So we have to borrow. What is next to the units? The tens. We have to borrow from the next bracket, which is the tens. The 40 now becomes 30 because it is lending 
ten. So it becomes ten less. And the two now becomes twelve because it borrowed ten, meaning it became ten more. So now we're standing with six thousand minus four thousand plus five hundred minus five hundred plus thirty minus seventy plus twelve minus eight. Okay, now that we have sorted the units, we can look at our tens bracket, which says 30 minus 70. And boys and girls, we know that 30 cannot take away 70 because 30 is smaller than 70. So what do we do? We borrow. And where do we borrow from? We borrow from the next bracket, which is hundreds. So now the 500 becomes 400 because it is lending 100. So it is becoming 100 less. Then the 30 in the tens bracket becomes 130 because it borrowed 100. So it became 100 more. Now our line would say 6,000 minus 4,000 plus 400 minus 500 plus 130 minus 70 plus 12 minus 8. Boys and girls, you would see with the orange color that the 12 minus 8 remained. I did not solve it. I will solve it at the end. Now we can look at our hundreds bracket, which says 400 minus 500. Now again, 400 cannot take away 500 because 400 is smaller than 500. So we have to borrow. We borrow from the next bracket, which is the thousands. And the thousands is 6,000 minus 4,000. The 6,000 boys and girls becomes 5,000. Because it is lending 1,000. It is becoming 1,000 less. And the hundreds bracket now, the 400 becomes 1,400. Because it borrowed 1,000. So it became 1,000 more. Now our line says 5,000 minus 4,000 plus 1,400 minus 500 plus 130 minus 70 plus 12 minus 8. Now that we have ensured that we can subtract from every bracket, meaning every bracket has a yes. 12 can take away 8. Yes. 130 can take away 70. Yes. 1,400 can take away 500. Yes. 5,000 take away 4,000? Yes. So now we can solve the subtraction problem because there is a yes, 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 yes. Boys and girls, 5,000 take away 4,000 is 1,000. 1,400 take away 500 is 900. 130 take away 70 is 60. And 12 take away 8 is 4. So my next line looks at as... 1,000. Now that we have ensured that we can subtract from every bracket, meaning we can subtract from our units, 12 take away 8, yes. Our tens bracket, which is 130 take away 70, yes, I can subtract. Our hundreds bracket, which is 1,400 take away 500, yes, I can subtract. Thousands bracket, which is 5,000 minus 4,000. Yes, I can subtract. So now that I have a yes, 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 we can solve the subtraction problem. And if I solve it, boys and girls, 5,000 take away 4,000 is 1,000. 1,400 take away 500 is 900. 130 take away 70 is 60. And 12 take away 8 is 4. So my line is 1,000 plus 900 plus 60 plus 4.
we have now reached our final step, which is to compose the numbers. And if we remember, compose means put together. So 1,000 plus 900 plus 60 plus 4 equals 1,964. Now we have solved the problem. In this slide, boys and girls, you will see how to do subtraction using the decomposition method. I have color coordinated it exactly as your previous slides. Please take some time to go through it and look at it properly. And you will also notice that on each line I borrowed from the tens, and on the next line from the hundreds, and on the next line from the thousand. And finally, I composed the numbers to get to the answer. Let's do it together. Well, on my first line, boys and girls, I decompose the numbers and I have 6,000 plus 500 plus 40 plus 2 minus 4,000 plus 500 plus 70 plus 8. On my second line, boys and girls, I grouped my thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. So I have 6,000 minus 4,000 plus 500 minus 500 plus 40 minus 70 plus 2 minus 8. On my third line, boys and girls, I borrowed from my tens for my units. So the 40 became a 30, boys and girls, and the 2 became 12. On my fourth line, boys and girls, I now borrowed from my hundreds for my tens. So the 500 became 400 and the 30 became 130. On the fifth line, boys and girls, I borrowed from the thousands. So my 6,000 became 5,000 and my uh, 400 became 1,400. So again, 5,000 minus 4,000 plus 1,400 take away 500 plus 130 take away 70 plus 12 take away 8. Finally, I got to my answers. 5,000 take away 4,000 is 1,000. 1,400 take away 500 is 900. 130 take away 70 is 6. And 12 take away 8 is 4. Now that I've subtracted all my bracket boys and girls, I can compose the numbers. So 1,000 plus 900 plus 60 plus 4 gives me my final answer of 1,964. I hope that you enjoyed using decomposition to do subtraction.